Job successful. Now it's your time to shine. Woo! You said it, brother. Good luck down there. Protect it and keep the area clear. You gotta love this job. I've detected incoming enemy signatures. Not a lot, but don't get cocky. Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and welcome to Titanfall 2 Front Defense. Now, I've had this game in my Origin Steam library for a long time. In fact, I pre-ordered this before it came out, and you're probably thinking. Really, Para, this is not your type of game. This is not an in-depth tactical shooter. Well, I kind of felt like a change. It was one of those random things, and actually getting into the Titans from Titanfall 1, I actually really enjoyed staying on the perimeter, getting the big guns out, and mowing down fucking noobs. I actually really enjoyed it, and it was a nice break from playing the in-depth, slow tactical simulation game. So. Titanfall 2 was on my list, they seem to have improved a lot of things from the first game. Well, like many other games of this type for me, I get in, I play it to death for a week or so, do a few videos on it, and then it sort of like gets undeleted while I need SSD drive space. But when I notice a lot of hype, a lot of a lot of word on the street, as it were, about Titanfall 2, and that the player number count had fallen quite drastically. The developers decided, well, what can we do to get the player base back up again? And they decided to release this frontal defense, or frontline defense, as it were. And it's basically a horde mode, full of action, full of carnage. I mean, the, a lot of people think the graphics are COD ish, which I hate that game, but the action and the audio is very visceral. It's quite exciting to play. As I mentioned, it's kind of different for me from the normal, usual things, sort of Escape from Tarkov Squad and other games like that. So I do enjoy a little bit of this game, not too much. It's kind of like a little bit like Rainbow Six Siege for me. I get in, I play it quite a lot, and then I come back to it again, have a break, come back to it, that sort of thing. It's one of those games, really. But if you're looking for a horde mode, five player, four player co-op against waves of enemies that get more and more difficult, up to five waves as it were. This is wave one, as you can see on the screen. And you want some action, this is probably a perfect game for you. Team, we've got a pilot down. It's okay, it's okay, stick together. We can win this thing. Now, as you can see the tower on my left there, that is the objective that we're actually defending. And until you've built up a certain amount of points, you can't actually call in your Titan. And Titans really is what this game is about. There's another player here coming in. He's about to drop in and come late to the party. So it starts off quite easy. And obviously it gets more difficult as the Titans and mechs and robots and that start to come in at the other end. And there are these mortar strike ones down here that strike from a distance. And there is a, a full unlock system. So it's almost like you start at square one and you can unlock abilities for your Titan, for your player, or your soldier running around as it were, for the weapons, kits, abilities, all sorts. It's, a, it's almost like a fresh game within the, within the original game, if that makes sense. So it is exciting, it's visceral, and it's fun. Now, I think the hood is a little bit OTT. That hood on the minimap up at the top, I think, is way too big. But this may be because it wants you to emphasise the team play and know where the enemies are coming from because they do come from all different sides and you need to be zipping across that map to actually protect the defence marker as it were. Now at the end of each round, should you be successful and defend it, you have the ability to go to the armoury, which is a small box that will come down and you can upgrade your ammo count or you can get extra batteries for your titan. You can even get the ability to get like a power surge for the defence marker, so it may last 10 seconds if you're absolutely struggling on wave 5 on the harder difficulties. Slap that ability on and you know you're going to be safe for the last 10 seconds. So, it is interesting, it's quite exciting, but as you can see on screen, this is wave 1, so I'll give you a little bit of this and then we'll jump straight into wave 5 and let you, give you an idea of what's actually involved because at the minute it's a little bit too easy even though this is on the regular difficulty so that's the end of that wave so now we're all going to run back 
get our upgrades out of this box that you can spend with credits and then my titan is ready to come down and we'll get in the titan and see what we can do to build up some defenses make yourself a little more badass Now, one thing I love about the sound effects in this game is when you call in the Titan, it just sounds like it's burning through the atmosphere. It sounds fantastic, as you're about to hear in a minute. As I call in my Titan, there are over six different types currently in game now, all with different abilities and weapons. It's called the Beast In. Stand by for Titanfall! For those of you who are not aware of the Titanfall 2, which I'm sure you all are, I can still stay out here and fight as a soldier, and I can set my Titan to either follow me or defend or attack. And I can jump in and out of that Titan at any time I want to. But as I mentioned, let's jump in the Titan and let's get on to level 5, and that'll give you an idea of what this game's like and whether you actually feel like, do you know what, I might reinstall it again and have a go on. Have a game with Uncle Parrot in some co-op horde mode on Titanfall 2.
the shield is taking some hits. Give it some cover. Enemy Titan eliminated. Destroy the remnants by the souls. Let's get out of here. 